It's interesting you mentioned uh, Guinea-Bissau as a perennial example. At some point, when I was looking at security spending in Guinea-Bissau, I discovered that in the early 90s, I think there were about five generals or something like that in the army. And by the early 2000s or mid 2000s or something, there were like 45 or something. 50, so, yes. so, so it's clearly money is being spent, but but the value for money is not, it's not there. So Well, the, and also, I mean, you, you know, the other side of Guinea-Bissau is that it's become a narco state. I mean, the, the, the yeah. drugs come in from Centra, from Latin America uh, and they're, they're transferred to Europe through, uh, through Guinea-Bissau. I mean, I, I remember when I was chief economist, I, there was a situation where they, they were going to investigate one of the airplanes in the, the airport. And before the investigators came, they blew up the plane. Were now, you at, a, were they, you at they the blew airport? It up in the airport. They, they act literally, it, it was parked. It was in a hangar. I mean, it wasn't flying. Uh, but they exploded. I mean, so think about that. That's a $30, $40 million yeah. dollar plane. So the stuff in there was probably worth more Much than more, $30 yeah. or $40 million. Dollars. <laughs>